Welcome, people. Today's message is regarding false prophets or people giving you a word, um, a word that comes from the Lord. And I do that with my fingers because not everybody is a prophet of the Lord Jesus Christ. Not everybody prophesies truth. You know, in the book of Isaiah, in the book of Jeremiah, it states that many people have itchy ears and many people desired desired um, the words of the flesh you know words that gave their flesh gratification or gave their flesh um, just a, a hype and there's many false prophets out there not respecting the word of god not respecting scripture and not respecting the bible and not respecting the holy spirit that are under a different spirit i'm not saying all but many many false prophets are giving people words and they're they're not words of the holy spirit they're words of the flesh they're not words that um that align with scripture you see, this is how people are easily fooled. If they don't have discernment, if they don't have the Holy Spirit, if they don't believe in, in, in Jesus Christ, if they don't read Scripture of their own, if they don't have understanding of Scripture, they'll easily be fooled by anybody coming to you in the name of God. That's how false prophets came in the Old Testament. They came in the, in, in the name of God. But... They, they prophesied to people to disobey God and they gave people flattering words, uh, smooth words. The real prophets of the Bible, they honored God. They honored the Holy Scriptures. They honored the commands of the Scriptures. They told people the truth about Scripture, about repenting and coming back to the Lord. They didn't make uh, their flesh um comfortable they they made they made their flesh the real prophets will make your uh human uh body uncomfortable and your spirit uncomfortable those are real prophets and the ones who respect the lord and his word so people be careful because there's many people on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram giving you a word, a word of knowledge or a word just you don't even know where this word comes from. And it starts becoming into something uh, like a psychic reading and a, a tarot reading that this is going to happen to you and this is going to happen to you and this is going to happen to you and this is going to happen to you. And you're going to receive this and this and this and this and this and this and that. People, we must be careful because many prophets do not serve our lord jesus christ some people abused the gift of prophesying and I, I and i've seen it and it's just it's so disheartening to the holy spirit it's so disrespectful to the holy spirit to abuse that gift and if people don't have that gift it's really really disrespectful to god claiming that you're a prophet when you don't honor the scriptures and when you don't honor people that is just for selfish gain and to manipulate people and to make them coming back you know for more words for more words and more words instead of them going to the holy spirit or them going to the lord jesus christ and god to hear from him we hear from god through his Holy Spirit by reading scripture in intimacy with him. People, it's time to wake up and be aware because sometimes people can be claiming that they're of God and speaking to you all these words, yet their profile speaks otherwise, yet their fruits say otherwise, people. And they could be easily satanic agents. I'm not saying all prophets, people. I'm not saying that. There's some that are genuine for the Lord. But some, but most, are not, sadly. 
and it's very, very sad to see people being fooled by them and losing a relationship with the Holy Spirit because of them, because of their drive, always wanting to hear uh, a word from them. And it's not even, it doesn't even apply to them. In some cases, we must be careful. And if false prophets are watching this message, this year you will be exposed. The Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, will come after you himself. Your fruits will bear a warning to false prophets. And for those who are abusing the innocent and giving them false words, people, that are not aligned with Scripture or their lives, be careful, people, because we can easily be deceived by the enemy, the devil comes as an angel of light to steal, kill, and destroy. Anything that you receive, you need to take it back in alignment with Scripture, your season, your life, and to the Holy Spirit. You need to counsel with the Lord Jesus Christ before you receive anything, people. Because, like I said, in YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, there's many different... Uh, words out there it's just they're nothing but readings psychic readings and just telling you that telling you just stories that is it's, it's crazy that don't even align with you or your life it's crazy so people and be careful be careful if you have the gift of prophesying make sure you honor the Lord, you honor scripture, and it's the best of interest that you become a servant when you're in the ministry of prophesying. Because the devil can whisper words to you, your mind of your own can whisper words to you, people. Let it align with scripture and counsel the Holy Spirit, counsel God, and counsel the Lord Jesus Christ before you say anything to people. And people be aware because the church lacks discernment, lacks discernment, lacks to discern between truth and lies, people. Now, people, this message is not, is not to disregard um, the other prophets, which are real prophets. But this is to expose the false prophets that are out there and that are people uh, that are deceiving people and people are are paying the price because they accept anything they accept the tickling of the ears and the flattering words and the flattering lips and the flattering words and yet instead of investigating whether this person's true or not they just accept anything that people tell them we're being dumbed down not only in um, society but also in the church we're being dumbed down spiritually people and this is the time to be edified and, and sanctified and to grow spiritually and to grow in your discernment. Be aware, people. And the Holy Spirit always tells you, always tells you whether a person is from God or not. And we usually ignore His words. We usually ignore Him. But the Holy Spirit always tells you something is wrong with that person. So, people, you guys have a blessed day day like comment share this message share it as much as you want you know let the brethren know about these things because this year is so crucial people it's really really crucial and it's just crucial for the church because the church will will face and is facing so many attacks and it's infiltrated already we don't need more of these lies people so be careful whoever prophesizes over your life people let it align with God and what he says about your life so people goodbye